All right, we're going to show you how easy it is to do an electronic ignition module conversion. I'm almost too short for that. Pop the distributor cap off. Points condenser and the wiring out of the way. Probably the simplest upgrade you can do. Make the car more reliable where you don't have to service the points and all that, because that's always a pain. There's your points of condenser that you won't use anymore. We're using an electronic ignition module. It's a Protronics ignition. Pretty simple to put in. The instructions are real easy. Feed the wires back through it. It does away with the points. And, uh, where there's no more adjusting the points and all that, because on a points style car, usually about every three or four thousand miles, you have to reset the points because the uh, cam on the points get wear on them. Man, you get a little magnet that triggers the uh, electronic ignition module. It just sets down on there. There's only one. You can feel it kind of fit the lobes on the distributor then the kit comes with a little tiny plastic gauge and we'll set the air gap between the magnet and the uh, pickup just like setting the points but it's a little more lenient All there is to it. And it's set, and you'll never have to adjust them again. That's your gap. And all that is is an air gap between the magnet and the pickup. Red goes to the positive side, and black goes to the negative side. And I can't see. Let me get a flashlight. So you just couldn't see where it said plus and minus, or what? I couldn't, yeah, I was just making sure on the coil. I'm blind, I'm getting too old. The original uh, coil wire on your harness. It's the only thing we've got to alter. we got to cut that end off and put that end on there. Because so, with that nut on there, that slip on end won't fit. That's all there is to it. And we'll put the rotor back on. And a little bit of corrosion in the cap, not too bad. You get a chance at home if you just clean those contacts up with a little piece of sandpaper. Okay. It'll uh, make it fire a little bit better. All right, she's all in. Now all we're gonna do is reset the timing, make sure it's 
not off, and the reason we're going to do that, the electronic ignition module, putting that magnet in there, the pickup on the magnet, that shaft in the center turns, and a magnet comes across that pickup and tells it when to fire, and it uh, will never be in the exact same spot as where the points ride on that cam, so it could be, the timing could be off by as much as eight degrees. There's a six-sided cam that rides on this little uh, uh, lobe on this set of points. And every time the high spot of that cam comes around, it opens the points, and that's what makes it fire. Put the lead to the number one spark plug. Red to positive. Which, by the way, you need to clean your positive cables. Actually, both battery cables. Yes, sir. The harmonic balancer has stamped numbers on it all the way around. And then there's a pointer right there. And when we start the car up, we'll put the timing light on it and we'll make sure that the timing, that pointer is pointed to that white mark right there. And then the timing will be right on it. And hold. We need to pull the vacuum hose off so that we don't get no advance. That way when we start it, we don't get the vacuum advance changing the timing on us when we're when it's sitting there running. It shouldn't move much when it's idling, but if you rev it up at all, it'll move the vacuum advance. So, all right, I think we're ready to start it and check the timing. That's all there is to it, but just don't forget to clean your battery cables. <laughs> all right, you're all done. <laughs> 